hope that scares you. <laughs> Today, welcome to a top five video. Now, considering it's Halloween, and I feel like this is quite an obvious one to do. Today, we're going to be looking down at the top five horror, or not, top five Halloween games that I feel like that you should be playing this year. Now, um, for sakes of I've already um, done a little done something like this before, hopefully I can make it a bit different, I'll just delete the other one. Anyway, let's get into it. Number 5, Western Evil 7. Now, I have never played this game. Why? Well, because I'm the un- I'm underage, I am. The game is rated 18. You're able to play this on from your um, PlayStation 4, PC, PlayStation VR, Xbox One, and even on your Windows 10 laptop via connection to the Xbox One. How amazing is that? But what is more amazing about Western Evil 7? Well, it takes a complete different angle from literally everything else it does. From all the games that, that you have seen, fans just definitely got what they wanted. You play as Ethan who is looking for his wife and stumbles across a haunted house that the Westerns are home. You come across the Baker family, you do. You fight different bosses, you fight enemies, and it's something like, well, it's going back to the old days. And it seems quite good. And then also at the ending, you get to see Umbrella, Wenfield, Wedfield, or I like to call him Chris Wedfield because it definitely seems to be like that way. And also the new DLC is also coming out this December, not Hero and also End of Zoe. Western Evil 7 is weighted at 18, and I suggest if you're able, if you're 18, I suggest, I suggest you go ahead and play that this Halloween, because, well, I guess it sure will scare you. I had to use one of them. I'm sure there's someone who can help. This is my home. Apparently, I belong here. I'll send help. Don't bother. There won't be anyone left to help! No! Evie! Please! Is it ready? Can we begin? No, no. Ethan Winters has been secured. He's alive and well, considering. And Lucas Baker? Right now, he's our only link to the connections. He's next on my list. We didn't get much from the first unit before we... Anyway, how could I not put this on the list? Number four, Friday the 13th. Now, Friday the 13th is a new game that came out this year. And from what I know, it's a game where you can have multiplayer and just one scene and one scene only. But yet again, I have not played the game because it's weighted 18. I know that the game is on the PlayStation 4, PC and Xbox One. Friday the 13th takes inspiring from the older Friday the 13th films and plays it well like that. Of course, you get to kill Friday the 13th guy in a way that is confusing. I think I should leave a link to an AV, a cinematic video down below. But um, yeah, Friday the 13th is definitely Friday the 13th. And Friday the 13th is Friday the 13th. That's all I have to say. <laughs>
Number three, Stranger Things the Game. Now, Stranger Things the Game takes place via the game in Season 1. It has no connection to Season 2 because this came out before Season 2. You play as different characters from the actual um, Netflix original series you do, like for instance Hopper, the kids, and, and much, much more. This game is only for the app stores, for your phone, tablets, whatever, but it's interesting to see the of eventually this would have to come, but why hasn't a natural Stranger Things either VR game or actual game hasn't been released to the consoles? Yes, this probably won't scare you that much, but it has to do with Stranger Things, it came out this Halloween, and Season 2 stuff, so go and get it if you get a chance. Number two, Outlast. Now, the Outlast series is basically about survival horror, about going around an abandoned building, investigating, battling out ghosts, and just running around from people and trying not to get killed. Now, Outlast has also had some other games like um, Whistleblower, and also other DLC, and also Outlast 2 that actually came out within this year. And last is a game where it is an 18, and if you like weird stuff that's horror and that may creep you out, then I suggest, well, buying this game also. Not being that Western Evil is the number one horror, I still think that, but it's just, well, here's Outlast for you. <laughs> Follow the angel. Change Babylon is fallen. Is fallen. That right, Senate. Because she made all nations drink the wine of the wrath of her fornication. And the smoke of their torment ascends forever and ever. Then I look and know a lamb. Stood on the Mount Zion, paid with a loud voice. Fear God, give glory to him, for the hour of his judgment is come! Please know at number one, I was going to put another Western Evil game here, but I just thought one game per franchise and then that'll be cool. Number one goes to The Evil Within 2. Now, I have not seen anything from The Evil Within 1, but I have seen the stuff from Evil Within 2. With this one, you go into a world that's actually just in your mind. Nothing's really real. Because guess what? You're asleep. You're trying to look for someone and something's been awoken. With some of the original creators from Western Evil 7, it feels like it, and also going and also watching gameplay videos, it actually looks like it. Monsters are there, and also some creepy stuff, including a kid dying. Yeah, you guys are messed up if you enjoy that stuff, and also much, much more. This game got released this year in a time when not that many games, well, I don't know, wasn't appealing to the under 18s. This game is on the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One, and also on the PC, weighted 18. You have some of the same mechanics and also some stuff inspired from earlier, like horror stuff, like that girl with multiple arms and that goes around, reminds me of that one from the grudge thing. But anyway, even when Fin 2, if you like that game, if you're 18, go ahead and buy it. They took everything I cared about. Everything that mattered, but they've got no idea how far I'll go to bring her home. Dad, where are you? I'm coming, Lily! I gotta save her. Rated M for Mature.
Well, I just want to say thank you guys for watching. If you haven't noticed, my voice and everything's gone a bit faster because builders have started working and they should die this Halloween. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will all see you on the next one. Happy Halloween. Hopefully I get this out on time. And remember, stay safe.